Hello and welcome to my channel Click to Express and today we'll be seeing how to install ClickSense uh, uh, desktop version. Okay, so unlike other softwares, it is very easy to install ClickSense. Okay, so go to Google, type ClickSense desktop download. The first link you have to use this or you can directly use this link from here so as to download the application. So if you are a first time user, you have to fill this details, check this box and send the form. Otherwise, if you are uh, already a login user, so you have to click on this login. And then I have already logged in because I have already created my account. So you have to put your credential. It is not taking me to that because I didn't log off from here. So you just check this button after logging in and then accept. So what it's going to do, it will going to install the software in your system. Okay. So not, not installed. It will start downloading the software. So I have already downloaded the software is 550 MB. So it, uh, this is the latest version, which I'm using over here. Uh, and this is February 2019 version. Uh, so the versions before that is almost the same. You have some minor differences, but, uh, yeah, no, I think if you use this uh, installation and uh, probably that that won't make a much difference if you are using the other software in your uh, other um, uh, versions in your company. Okay, so I have already in uh, have I'm already having that software. What you have to do is you have to double click it, and then it will automatically ask you to install the software. Okay, so the installation is very easy. You have to just uh, give uh, the uh, accept the term. I agree. He then put next, 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 and it's gonna get installed. So it's probably take some time for me. It is taking some time because depending upon your pro processor and also the RAM, it, it it takes some time. So that's all uh, you have to do to install this application. So once the application gets installed, you will get a symbol like this in your uh, in your system. Okay, so what you have to do is you can open the, the hub from here. So this is your hub where you'll be creating your application and will be stored over here. So what you have to do is to create an application, go to this create new app. Select this and you will get to see a pop up coming over here saying that give the name for that application. So I'm giving a name for this application, say it like my new app. Okay, it's taking some time. There is some crap in my system. Yeah, fine. So now just click on this create button. So it's going to create the app for you. Yeah, fine. It's taking some time for me to do it uh just be with me so what you're gonna see over here the application like this okay these application which is you know pre-created by me and and you you can obviously you know store it in your workplace and also transfer it to other uh, other people so where these applications are stored in your system is by default this applications will be okay so there is some problem with my server so that's fine so I'll just show you the uh, uh, show show you with respect to other example. Before that, I just wanted to show you how uh, sorry where this uh, apps are stored. So you have to go to your documents. Then you have to go to click and then sense and then apps. So these are the place. This is the place where your all applications will be you know stored. So apply map, map using all these applications I have created are, is actually here. So it okay, finally it got created. I can open this app from here. So now this app going to be opening here. Okay, just wait a minute. It's taking some time. There is some crap with my system. I'm not sure. I'll open any other set problems. Maybe uh, this this is the application we just not created. Okay. So 
Yeah, it is trying to open now. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so this is the uh, page you're going to be seeing it. So, the, uh, so there are three parts, data, analysis, and story. So we'll be discussing this one by one in the next two, um, sessions. So here you have to go to the script editor. So you can directly go to, uh, to uh, da data apps file as I he can uh, clicking over here will do. But it's good practice to go to script editor because both the things does the same thing. But this sometimes hangs up your system. That is why you go to script editor. And this is where you will be writing your uh, what you call script or you will be loading the fields that's uh, the, that we're going to be seeing in the next session. Okay, so.